As things start off, I'm reminded of a quote Booker T had about these two men. He said that Randy Orton was Seth before Seth was Seth. Really? Like, Randy used to have long hair and a beard? Man, what Booker meant is these two had very similar paths, okay? They were both groundbreaking factions. They were both Mr. Money in the Bank. They were both the face of the authority. And they're both among the greatest to ever step foot in a WWE ring. Orton with a Fez press, raining down right hands. And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. Devastating kick. And whatever his Rollins game plan didn't quite pan out for him there. Orton looked confident in that exchange. He moves just in time. You can see the dominance on display by Orton. And Rollins has to devise a new plan. Watch the quickness on this. Whipped over in a snap suplex. Randy Orton has been at this for almost two decades, and he's still in his prime. He still has the deadliest move in all of WWE, the RKO. The legend killer needs to keep his head on a swivel when it comes to Seth Rollins. The Kingslayer has such a versatile set of moves, and Orton needs to know the perfect moment to catch Rollins in an RKO out of nowhere. Seth is being overwhelmed. Orton loves to have this kind of control. Rollins dodges in the nick of time. Vintage Randy Orton. Such a precise maneuver from the Viper. Nothing kind or gentle about that, Saxton. A precision shot, and now Rollins is bleeding. Rollins may be laid to rest. And this one is over. And here's a look back at some of the action from the previous match. You got chills in your religion, all designed to keep you safe. Here is your winner, Randy Orton! Rollins could not get it done here tonight against Randy Orton. Yeah, if I were Seth Rollins, I'd find a plan B and execute it as soon as possible.